Hello there. Uh, yesterday I called into our local works to buy some of these dice. Uh, very nice actually. These are uh, £1 as you can see, quite obviously. Uh, 12 dice, uh, nicely translucent, good colours and they feel well made and they're nice. And I need lots of coloured dice so I bought all I had which was two. I already have one pack of these but I'm going to have to wait till there's more to do my game project I'm working on. But anyway, while I was there I saw that they had this. Tactical card game Berserk War of Realms. Now I love a good card game and a good board game and this is kind of both by the look of it. Uh, let's see what does it say on here. Award-winning and popular card game from Russia. I don't know what awards it's won it's by a company called Hobby World but the English version at least is done by Asmodee as we can see there who are becoming quite a force in this country now for gaming goodness uh, they've always done their own games a very much a gamers game kind of company but uh, they've gone a little bit more into the sort of mainstream as well but without deserting what I would snobbishly call proper games so when I saw this I thought I'm gonna have that I'll give it a try it was uh, 11.99 so let's see what it tells us. Well, let's have a look at the artwork. It's all very nice. You get two boards there. Uh, here's components. You get uh, six 30 card decks, 63 cards for customization, damage and effect tokens, four custom dice. I like custom dice. Two reference cards, two game boards, a comic strip, strangely, and a rule book. So let's just read the, the little story here. Right, a bit difficult through the viewfinder, so I'm going to put that down. There we go. Uh, mermaids or elves, demons or dwarfs, orcs or dragons, choose your warriors and take the fight to the enemy. Brute strength and cunning tactical genius will tilt the battle in your favour. And with six different races at your fingertips, the question is not whether you fight, but how. The war for the lands of the Berserk has begun. Berserk War of Realms is the international version of the popular Russian war game played with cards instead of miniatures. It contains six 30 card decks and everything up to four players need to battle for supremacy in the kingdoms of Berserk. Now strangely it says up to four players but that's not quite right because it says two or four players. So three people can't play apparently. Although I suspect that each player has a deck and you could if you're experienced with a game I imagine you could probably have two decks yourself I don't know anyway it says age is 13 plus which is a good sign uh, 40 to 60 minutes play time and it was successfully funded on Kickstarter which can be good but as we know that can be bad because there's a, a lot of rubbish come out via Kickstarter but a lot of stuff which is very 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 good that we never would have seen like Sentinels of the Multiverse, for example. So let's see what we get. I've already removed the cellophane, so I don't have to mess around with that. And here's the rules. Let's just move that to the side for the moment, which is all very highly produced. Very clear, nice artwork throughout. It's all good. And at, uh, again, a legend. It's obviously a background to a story. And at the back we've got the draft game variant as well. And explaining what all of the dice and the cards and everything else do, as you'd expect. That looks nice and, nice and clear. Uh, you have two sheets of these tokens, which I've resisted popping out so far. But I'll do that as soon as I turn the camera off, because I love popping these things out. And again, they're very nice and clear. I would assume that these are wounds. And then let's see what else we have here. We have pluses and negatives. Not quite sure what that will be, but uh, I'm sure it will become clear as and when I play it. But they're, again, very nicely done, printed on both sides. Nice thick cardboard with the, the woven sort of film, whatever you want to call it, on top, which means they won't get all tatty and horrible in no time. Now, this must be what they call the. Uh, a comic strip, which is in fact a simple playthrough to teach you the basics of the game. And it all looks uh, 
simple enough to learn hopefully there's some decent depth in this game but uh, we'll find that out later on and the board two boards in fact we have uh, this one here which uh, graveyard and deck with a lovely sort of muted style of artwork of a castle there and a mountain I don't know the relevance of that yet but it's very nicely made decent thick board and this is basically the same thing but with some kind of possibly elvish cathedral so it's sort of grown out of the, the woods there same thing graveyard and deck and a tree so obviously each player is going to have their a board of their own and the way this is with the the sections here with the squares throughout i'm suspecting something along the lines of either a summoner wars or a mage wars kind of game so here we are there's a, a dice two black two white so the white ones they have a sword a fist another fist an axe and another fist and the black one is mostly blank but we're across on that side and a fist on that side again we'll find the significance of that and i'll do a proper review later on and then we have very many cards there we go i probably should have opened these first really but we'll we'll see if i can get them open so we can have a little flick through and see what they're like oh not the camera Bear with me just a moment here. Open up. Ugh. Right. So here you see Warrior of Hope. The artwork is really nice. The cards are thick enough. But the uh, ice, uh, the black border, it's always a problem. They end up looking tatty quickly. But anyway, let's have a look, see if we can make sense of this. When Warrior of Hope dies, target creature gets plus one to their sword, which must be their attack. So we've got what looks like eight wounds, one paw print. I'm going to assume that that is movement and then attack. One, two, three. Hmm, interesting. We've got a Chronicler who looks exactly like Robert Rankin, the fantasy writer. That's quite interesting. Although, I suppose it could be Terry Pratchett. Hmm. They have a similar sort of look. Anyway, let's see. Brass Golem. Astral Mancer. Buccaneer. Oh, that's good. So, anyway, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can see that throughout the artwork is very, very nice. So, I'm assuming that you sort of summon monsters and fight with them it says, as it says instead of figures in a summoner wars kind of style oh and that must be a reference card so yes very impressive 12 pound my local works which is paul and dorset they had about 10 copies perhaps of this and they also had the world of tanks rush which is a kind of deck building game but i couldn't afford to get both at the same time so i didn't uh, i've since looked up world of tanks and it's won two awards according to board game geek uh, russian game of the year and on a, on a russian website that was by the way and on a different russian website disappointment of the year so make of that what you will apparently it's a deck building game but it it's the theme's a little bit pasted on in some ways apparently because you can buy tanks from the opposing armies which is a little bit strange i don't know what i think about that i mean there is a certain amount of uh tanks captured during wartime re repainted in in the capturers um colors and used it did happen it does happen but it's not common so it seemed a little bit odd to me it was only 10 pound though so i i might pick that up next week and just see what it's like because i do like a good deck builder game so there we go anyway 
that's it for today. I will do a full review of this when I can. Um, I've also had a few requests, so I'm going to be doing uh, reviews of, let me see, what was it? It was uh, Jerusalem and CV, I think was the other one I was asked about. So that, that's coming soon, proper reviews. But for now, that's it. If you want this, I suggest go and buy it fast from the works because although they do have gamers games in they're never in for very long occasionally they get a massive amount in one go and I remember the one year when I, I had a bit more money I, I bought about 25 in one go off a website and it was all good makes like um, Queen, Z-Man, um, Istari, Hans and Gluck, Rio Grande all these sort of gamers game companies I know all about eight ten pounds so it's always worth having a look but keep in mind, don't think about them too long because they don't stick around. So anyway, that's it. More reviews, more everything coming. Subscribe and like if you like. And hopefully I'll see you again on this channel. Goodbye.